Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one here is for The Office. Season 3, episode number 3. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe, people. Hit that notification bell as well. You need to pick up the phone and tell a friend to tell a friend. It helps the algorithm all day long. Alright, a couple comments from episode 2, starting with Executive Producer Faye, who says, Great reaction again. Remember to like and subscribe for more fun reactions. Hey, Hope that yo. helped a little. Appreciate it, Faye. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. As for this episode, there are two Michael parts that I really like. The line, I love inside jokes, would love to be a part of one someday, is both funny and pitiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> he has some sad things. Then That's also sad. the dialogue between Michael and Jim. Jim, ah, so how's Toby? Michael, Toby Flanderson is everything that is wrong with the paper industry. Is he the reason you left? Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that would totally make sense yeah. to me. I don't have any problems with Toby for most of the series. There does come a limit to his sad sack characterization for me, but Michael just hates him so badly because he's all about the rules and Michael mm -hmm. wants to break all the rules. Yeah. I also agree with Pam. It would be really great to dream in cartoons. However, I prefer something cute, slice, <coughs> slice of life like Peanuts comic book rather than something graphic like Marvel, DC, or Invincible. Mm -hmm. Anyway, once again, great reaction. I really do love this show. Nice. All right, Raina Williams comes in to say, I love Creed. This is kind of the start to his random moments. The actor is so good. Bob adds on to that comment saying, if we rate the characters by last per minute of screen time, then I definitely think Creed tops that list. <laughs> Which I think is hilarious. Because so oh. far, his one-liners have... Yeah. Fucking landed. Creed just really come good. in there and just say stuff. And, and, <laughs> yeah, and it's, 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 it's done. gold. <laughs> um, Kr89 says, "I up and love you guys." I now start smiling and laughing along as RJ starts to say, "Because you know it helps the algorithm every <laughs> single time." You guys are great. Can't wait to see what you think of the rest of this season. <clears throat> <laughs> Alright, then we have Executive Producer Lissa saying, OMG, I lost all respect for Pam in this episode because I can understand saying no to Jim while you were engaged, but now you're not engaged and you don't even speak to him and yeah. now you're going on a date. Wow. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I really don't understand her mindset at all because she actually likes Jim and has feelings for him and they kissed. I know they are dragging the storyline and they will get together at some point, but oh, if yeah. I was Jim, I wouldn't even talk to her again for wasting his time mm -hmm. and leaving him on. Yeah. Michael being jealous was hilarious and Jim reluctantly being friends with Michael was really fun to watch, but my highlight was once again Dwight and Angela's romance. Also, Dwight calling Angela monkey was too adorable. Yeah. <laughs> and it reminded me of Chloe calling Trixie monkey. Can't wait for the next mm -hmm. one. Um, and M10 added to that comment just saying, who are we to dictate who a person should or shouldn't date? Jim left. Pam doesn't owe him anything and Jim doesn't owe her anything. Okay, that cool. thinking is toxic. That's She's a grown woman who can make her own decisions. I feel like there's a lot of drama yeah, I mean, with the perception specifically yeah. of like Pam and Jim. I don't know. It just feels like people, even on YouTube, I've seen in the comments, I'm just like, oh, people are really taking like Pam sides, taking sides or over Jim there. sides. It's, uh, it seems a little uh, aggressive in yeah. some cases. It's just everybody know the inevitable. Or everybody has their own perception. Yeah, so, and everybody yeah, bases it on their own personal dating experiences. Mm, yeah, too, that's true, so that's too. all going to yeah. like weigh in. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Um, but let's jump to episode three right now. Michael is going to get us all fired. You sat back and let him play that dumb movie, and now Jan has peeped off and we're all going to lose our jobs. That's not going to happen. You know she has it out for him now. That's not his fault. He had to follow his heart. Ever since Michael dumped Jan for Carol, Jan's been bitching out on him. Reject a woman and she will never let it go. One of the many defects of their kind. Oh also goodness. weak arms. Dwight, also, we got <laughs> this office. Michael would never let me. It's not up to Michael. It's Jan's call. Talk to her. I could never do that. Fine. Sit back and do nothing and let us all get fired. You should be running this office. I know that patience and loyalty are good and virtuous traits. But sometimes I just think you need to grow a pair. At the Stanford branch, they all play this World War II video game called Call of Duty, and they're all really into it. I'm told it started as a team-building exercise. Oh my gosh, they're really all stuck. playing it. Oh, one second. I didn't play many video games in Scranton. Instead, we do stuff like uh, Pam and I would sometimes hum the same high-pitched note and try to get Dwight to make an appointment with an ear doctor. <laughs> and uh, Pam called it Pretendinitis. Hey Kelly, my stuff just got here. Kelly really likes to online shop. 
This is Dwight Schrute. Schrute. I am calling about oh an extremely God. sensitive matter. You talk to Michael and he'll talk to me, and that way we don't have to speak to each other. It's about Michael. What about him? I can't talk here. Well, why are you it's calling? Too sensitive. It's not a surprise party, is it? No, but we should discuss that another time. Look, I'm already an hour outside of Scranton, Dwight. I'm not coming back. Pull over at exit 40. There is a Liz Claiborne outlet. I know you like that store. Go inside and shop until I can meet you. How do you know I like that store? Many of your blouses are Claiborne's. How do you know that? It's part of my job. No, it's not. It's officially not. Noted. Mm -hmm. Noted. Mm -hmm. I'm going... Halter top? Camisole? Teddy, I could save the branch. Really? If you let me run it. Okay. Okay, I can run it. What would you do differently? Mostly get rid of waste, which is half the people there. A clean house. Right here. It's all for me. Thank you. Dwight, you must feel strongly to speak with me. Stay behind Michael's back and turn on some of your co-workers. The decision to turn on Michael was difficult, but once I did it, I didn't look back. And mostly I feel that Michael would approve. I've <laughs> <laughs> had a very interesting conversation with one of your employees. Oh, that's nice. You know, what was it? Dwight just told me that he thinks he can run the branch better than you. Wow. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You were at the dentist? You can't have people undermining you. Get control of your branch immediately. Okay. What was I thinking? That he could turn Jan against me? She's my ex-lover. Ish. Wow. It's so sexy. You look so hot. It's really Okay? We're gonna set up a trap in the gun room. Alright, Jim, are you using the MP4? Oh, it's on the game. Oh my god. Sniper rifle? Snipe what? Jim, are you playing other team? You don't snipe the carry. Hey, they take okay? a Saboteur. Yeah. Saboteur. 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 I'm gonna kill you for real. This game, the game is over. I'm really going to shoot you. I'm going to get real. <laughs> oh, that's a Right. Hey, I thought you weren't supposed to eat anything for a couple of hours after you had a crown put in. I have this new kind of quick drying bonding. Uh, well, sounds like a good dentist. Can I get his name now? What's his name? Jan. Crentist. Crentist. His name is Crentist. His dentist's name is Crentist. <laughs> huh. Huh. Sounds a lot like dentist. Maybe that's why he became a dentist. Let me see your teeth. Let me see him. Let me see him. I don't see a crown in there. Oh, wait. Yeah. You know what the craziest <gasps> part of this is? She demoted me to your job. <sighs> and she said that you should be expecting a call later from corporate. And that, um, I guess that means that you are going to be acting manager of Dunder Mifflin Scranton. I can't believe this news. Wow. That. Why is he playing it this way? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I told her I didn't know whether you'd want to do it. Because you've always been so loyal to me. You've been my most trusted ally. Oh my god. You said that? <clears throat> yep, I did. I did. But I think you should do it. Gosh, if you think I should. What is he hoping to accomplish with this? This is the stupid tactic. I have some good news and I have some bad news. I am being replaced as your leader by Dwight. You're kidding. You might think that I am kidding and I understand that. <laughs> oh my god! Well, I remember why I dress the way I do at work, but I'm going to keep the clothes. I mean, it would just be work. cool to have some after-work clothes in our pajamas. Just look. Yeah.
There's another relationship that nobody will say nothing about. Yep, yep, we hugged it out. But, it turns out, I was still a little angry. So, I felt I needed to punish him just a little bit more. And I'm making him do my laundry for you. <laughs> I was just a little more angry. Uh, Alright, that was episode three of The Office. And if this episode didn't teach us anything, is that a woman's love can make you do crazy things. Things that you wouldn't normally do if you were Dwight in this situation. But his boo-boo cakes set him up for failure all day and he couldn't deal with it. He tried. He went in the park a lot. He tried to deal with it. But at last, he came through. Did what he had to do. Jan was a stand-up soldier. She called and told Michael, where head went down. Get your shit together because your people going crazy in there. And he did. Now, Michael handled it the best way Michael could handle it. He handled it in the most Michael way possible, I think. And it worked out great in his favor. Everything worked out for him. He got exactly what he wanted. It, it didn't even backfire in his face. So I say, hey, kudos to Mike for doing what you're doing. Because, yes, you do have to have loyalty in this thing we call familia. Okay? And if you if you got no loyalty, guess what? You ain't got no familia. So I'm glad he got what he got. Dwight knows his place now. So maybe he'll keep that shit on the low low and... Um, Michael can ra maintain his control and power over this branch. Hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, like, calm down. Oh. He ain't not a mafia. He ain't a boss. Like, take several seats. Turn down also, a little bit. <laughs> also, what's up with this damn new relationship with Jim and Rasheed Jones over here? Is this going to be another love triangle we have going on? Because I can see that happening and then... Um, Why is it going to be a triangle, though? Because, obviously, Pam and Jim ain't done yet. I mean, so they're in two different offices. Yes, very but this they... is what I was going to say. Pam yeah. is somehow, obviously, going to find out or see them together at maybe a corporate lunch or some shit. I don't know. And that's going to be a little bit, a little bit. And then they'll have time to work things out and become Pam and Jan like we always Jan? know it to be. I mean... <laughs> Pam and Jim, like we always know it to be anyway. I think that's what happened right there. So, uh, But hey, another great episode, man. I, I like to see both sides going on with the two branches. And, and just, this was just another one. But Creed, come on. He, he getting it again. If that's going to be one Creed. One-liners, man. If that's going to be him all the time, you know, Creepo, I'm here for that all day because that shit is funny. So can't wait to see the next, another one. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, shout out to Creed and his one-liners. I'm going to be low-key looking for that now. Anytime he's on screen, I'll be like, does it deliver in that? Yeah. Once again, yeah. he owned that. And just, like, short little present. He just, like, captivates <laughs> and steals just the give whole, me a minute. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to keep staring. Um, so, yeah, I like that. Um, I was wondering where the um, the build up was going with the whole Dwight thing. First of, first off, I totally liked the way they executed the whole plot device and the way it all turned out. Um, specifically because they showed how psychopathic giving both Angela and Dwight power could be. Like yeah. we ain't going there. You don't want they, that. Yeah, you don't want that. It, yeah, don't it's want a, it's that. another extreme. You think Michael's bad? Woo! Wait, wait till Dwight gets a little power. Uh -huh. So I like that Michael played him all the way into the moment where he insulted his vehicle and his ego couldn't take anymore. That was yeah. it. That was yeah. bottled. He couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> and then having obviously Dwight freak out in a way that was so perfectly aligned with his character and the whole uh, hug it out was just so great. I like lost it. That was so well done. I loved every second of it. It was worth the build up because I was like, how are they going to? play this out, yeah. how are they going to execute yeah. on this whole plot, because it's great, but how is it going to end up, and that's not the way I saw it going, so it surprised me, but in the best possible way, so yeah. I thought that was really good, I really do like the other office dynamics, so we get something completely different from our yeah. Stanton office, 100%. so different, it's it's not comparable in yeah. any way, and it's having, so different, Jim don't even, he can't even handle it, <laughs> and Jim, again, constantly thinking about how it's Beyond different to you, yeah. like, it creates just a really good dynamic, I like look you like uh, Jim and the Rashida Jones possible. Uh -huh, I think they're uh -huh. super cute, so yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Um, because I feel like it's gonna be a while before everything culminates back to Jim and Pam. There's so much that could take place now that they're in separate offices. Yeah. Um, but another solid episode. 
cannot wait for the next one. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, look. Thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk reaction for The Office. Season 3, Episode 3. And until next time, people, peace.